Well, hello everyone, I got another Bible review for you here. Our friends from Sunderland sent me this review copy in exchange of an honest review and I'm very pleased to do so. This is well overdue and I'm happy to be able to do that today. So here it is. This is, this is the popular Thompson Chain reference Bible that uh, has been in publication for more than 100 years. And uh, uh, as we can read here, it was first published in 1908, which is a long time. So now, this new edition contains more than 100,000 references and it covers over 8,000 topics, uh, which is uh, what makes this chain reference system an ideal tool for comprehensive and topical study. So I'm not going to get into all the uh, bells and whistles about this Bible because that would take us forever. But I'm just going to show you what really uh, got my attention, which is uh, uh, not only the new formatting of this edition, the paper, the ink, the font. This is a 9.5 point font um, print size, which is excellent for readability. And uh, also it comes with the words of Jesus in red, which is not my preference because it really does uh, strain my eyes after a few minutes of reading. But not this edition, any edition with red letter that, that happens to me, it's just uh, my eyes are very bad. So I really need a, a, a black letter. But for those who don't have a problem with the red letter, this red letter is very nice and uh, very well executed. Um, I wish we had an edition available uh, in, in black letter rather than red for people like me. I should, uh, but let's have a look. This is the hard copy that I was sent by our friends Sonder at Sonderan. Uh, it's just a typical hardback. Okay, nothing fancy about it. There's this shiny blue uh, cover with base down uh, liner, cardstock. Uh, and it comes with this flimsy. Uh, more kind of uh, detailed uh, cover on it so I'm just gonna put it back in together and let's take a look at this so it does come with this uh, kind of fancy uh, base style liner uh, presentation page in a more kind of glossy uh, paper reward is allowed for my feet I like on my path by the way, this is a new international version edition. They are making these Bibles in ESV, New King James, King James as well, New American Standard. There you go. Now the paper is not thick, but for its thickness, it's pretty opaque. I know you can see that, that the camera picks normally a little bit more than with your naked eye. And here's the table of contents. The Old Testament, New Testament, tables and measures with all the helps on the very back of the Bible. In this case, they put all the helps in the very back. And here we got, and here we have all the comprehensive Bible helps, which are a source of knowledge and, and wisdom and even to help you to put together, you know, studies and preachings, sermons, devotionals, the NAV preface. Comes with the, an introduction to the Thompson Chain Reference Bible, explaining the revision and update of this edition And the, uh, here you're gonna have help to understand how this Bible works, just to help you navigate. I'm pretty much sure that everybody at this stage knows a little bit about Thompson Chain references it's been so long out there in the marketplace. You will find there are certain differences between this Bible, this edition, and the older edition. But I think this has been an improvement in the setting. They changed the type font, 
uh, the, the style, everything's been just basically renewed and, and, and has a fresh kind of look to it. And here we go, this is the beginning of the book of Genesis. All the books were, are gonna come with a black uh, title like this. And then you're gonna have also some red accents. Uh, and then on the left hand side, you're gonna have all the references as well in red. This is, a, a, as I said, a 9.5 point font print, which makes it very readable. I like it for uh, the way that it reads. It looks modern, fresh. The paper is pretty uh, white. Easy to turn. Now, if we go to the New Testament, you're gonna see this red letter, which is pretty dark, very nice. But yet, for me, it's not something that I, I look forward to see because this letter, this red letter, after 10 minutes or so, starts uh, hurting my eyes. Not because of this edition. It happens with any Bible, any translation, any publisher. I don't care. I, I, I have all kinds of Bibles from different publishers in red letters, and I have the same problem with all of them. So don't don't take this as a critique to Sondervan or this a specific edition. It's just the red letter problem that I have. I keep telling Dash in most of my videos when I see something like this, because I wish we could have at least one option of for each edition with black letter for people like for people like me in this case. Um, this is a great tool, but uh, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to use it for long periods of time due to this problem with uh, the red letter. But I'd say most of you guys out there may not have that issue, so you are blessed. And then at the very end, also, I forgot to tell you that each book has its own uh, uh, kind of introduction to it with loads of uh, content as well and helps there. That was going to be true for each book of the Bible. There you go, Timothy. Second Timothy, sorry. And at the very end, after Revelation, Here we're going to have basically all the study materials starting here. I forgot to mention it comes with two ribbons, double sided satin, one blue, one yellow. I like them, pretty thick actually. And take a look at how thick this helps are compared to the Bible does your Bible and does your helps so it's a massive amount of helps and uh, for your Bible study and preparation for sermons and, and devotionals etc you got the alphabetical index of topics a numerical index and all the bells and whistles that you're gonna find uh, are typical from the Thompson Chain reference, you're gonna find it here. I'll show you also some differences, not only in the color, but also in um, the updated, improved maps with more modern text. Even the layout of the charts, also you can see it has been moder modernized timelines and everything you would expect from this Bible. Basically, it's a whole improvement, and then you have a concordance, of course. It's a three column concordance with uh, three columns with a bit too small font for my liking. 
but uh, it is there it is there in, in case you need it you may need some lenses to read this and then at the back we're gonna find some ruled paper for notes and the same kind of paper so you're gonna have to use some pens like uh, micron pens which are acid free and uh, archival ink so that it does not bleed through since it's a thin paper you have also a note regarding the type that uh, it was uh, done specifically for the NIV done by Sonderbrand and as you can see this was done by our friends at 2k Denmark and the typical maps, glossy paper, fake, full color that Sondervan produces in most of their Bibles. Now this Bible It's not too thick, but it's not lightweight. It's kind of sturdy. I'm gonna give you the measurements for this Bible right now. That's around 24 centimeters long. 17 centimeters wide. And about four and a half centimeters thick. So there you have it. The new Thompson chain reference new international version revised and updated by our friends at Sunderband which uh, brand new paper brand new font and layout I hope you enjoyed this video hope it helped you and if you liked it please give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so yet and I hope to see you in another Bible review or rebind until then Shalom